In this video, we are going to find all natural numbers A, B, C, D, E, F such that they satisfy both A plus B plus C equals D, E, F and D plus E plus F equals A, B, C. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications. Firstly, you have to notice that no matter how we reverse the positions between A, B and C or we do the same on D, E and F, the equations are still the same. So I can assume with also general, with also generality, the sequence of the size of A, B and C and D and F respectively. So I would say that W log, I can assume that A is the smallest followed by B followed by C and same for D, E and F. Before I move on, let me introduce a lemma. Is that if all three letters are at least two, then the product must be strictly greater than the sum. And let me prove this first before I start to solve the equations. So I'm going to assume the contrary. That means that a b c is less than or equal to a plus b plus c. Now we know that a, b, c are all at least two, so we know that a, b, c is at least uh, 4c, because a and b are at least two, so the product is um, then at least four. And also, the sum is at most 3c, because c is the largest number. So therefore, we can say that 4c is less than or equal to a, b, c, which is less than or equal to a plus b plus c by assumption, and less than or equal to 3c. So 4c is less than or equal to 3c, but that's clearly wrong. So contradiction. So that means if we have a, b, c to be all at least 2, then we will have a, b, c to be strictly greater than a plus b plus c. Now back to the main problem. So by looking at the... Um, um, growing speed of um, sum of three numbers and a product of three numbers, um, one may quickly suspect that we cannot have solutions to have um, to take values at least two. So I'm going to show that this is really impossible. So indeed, if A, B, C, D, E, F are all at least two, then the following would happen. So firstly, A, B, C, according to a lemma, will be greater than A, B, A plus B plus C product is straightly greater than the sum and then this sum will be e equal to product of another three numbers and then this product again is greater than straightly greater than d plus e plus f and we'll go back to a b c but we have gone through uh, two inequalities that are strict inequalities so uh, this statement cannot be true for any values of a b c d and f so contradiction so that means we must have at least one of A, B, C, D, E, F to be one. Now I'm going to assume it to be A because A is the smallest amount A, B, and C. Then the system will become B plus C plus one equals D, E, F and D plus E plus F equals to BC. Now, in fact, I can further assume that um, D, E, F are all at least two and repeat the work just like what I did above. And again, from the lemma, D, E, F is greater than D, strictly greater than D plus E plus F. And so that means B plus C plus 1 is strictly greater than B, C. And I can, I'm going to move B plus C plus 1 to the right-hand side. And add some numbers on both sides to make one side factorizable. Now, this time I chose um, to add 2 on both sides. So that left-hand side will become 
b minus 1 times c minus 1 to be smaller than 2. Consequently, we will have b the product to be either 0 or 1. And if the product is 0, then either b equal to 1 or c equal to 1. But because we know that c is supposed to be larger than or equal to b, so we reject this case. Because if c equals 1, then b has also has to be 1, but that will give us no solution. So b equals 1 for this case, then the equation will become c plus 2 equals d e f and d plus e plus f equals to c. And so d e f equals d plus e plus f plus 2. However, d e f is actually at least 4f and on the other hand d plus e plus f is at most 3f plus 2 so that means I'm not, not I mean d plus e plus f plus 2 the right hand side the entire right hand side is at most 3f plus 2 so therefore 4f is less than or equal to 3f plus 2 so therefore f is less than or equal to 2 however if we recall that all these work are actually based on the assumption that d e f are all at least 2 so now if f is at most 2 so we actually have a bound that gives d e and f to be all equal to 2 And that, that will give us c equals to 6. So our first solution, first solution set is 116222. Of course, you can reverse uh, the order of a, b, c, and d, e, f, or you can permute a, b, and c, and also permute d, e, and f. But I will not um, um, give all the solution sets because that will take um, lots of time. Now, Let's move on to the next case, is that b minus 1 times c minus 1 is equal to 1. Then that means both b minus 1 and c minus 1 has to be 1. And that means b equals c equals 2. So the product is 2. No, so both of, the va both of the variables have to take value of 2. And that means d, e, f equals 5. And the sum, on the other hand, has to be 4. But that will give us no solution. So... From this case, we'll only have one set of solutions, and it's permutations, of course. After dealing with the case uh, under the assumption that d, e, and f are all at least two, then the remaining case is just that um, at least otherwise, at least one of d, e, and f equal to one. Then the system becomes b plus c plus 1 equals e f and e plus f plus 1 equals b c now i'm going to deal with this um, system although it's symmetric in another form but in a different way i'm going to add both uh, both equations together adding e f plus b c equals e plus f plus b plus c plus 2 the reason that I chose to add them because I can actually move everything to one side, try to uh, fat choice in some way, and that's already sufficient for me to um, divide the rest into uh, finitely many cases. So I'm going to do this. By adding both sides by two, so that's four. So now I'm going to separate the cases into uh, considering the values that b minus 1 times c minus 1 or uh, e minus 1 times f minus 1 would take. So let x be the product of b minus 1 times c minus 1 
and y will be the product of e minus 1 times f minus 1. I, I do this only um, <coughs> to write less when I present the solution. And of course, by symmetry, I'm going to assume that x is less than or equal to y. Because the sum of these two letters is 4, and all the, all, all the pairs are just 0, 4, 1, 3, 2, 2, 3, 1, and 4, 0. So by doing this, uh, writing this line, um, I can consider two uh, cases fewer. So when x equals 0, y equals 4, um, we've actually done uh, similar things before. So that means uh, b equals 1. And then at the same time for y equals 4, I will have e minus 1, f minus 1 to be either 1, 4, or 2, 2. No more 4, 1 because e has to be uh, at most uh, equal to f. So solving, I will have b equals 1, e equals 2, f equals 5, or b equals 1, e equals 3, f equals 3. So together with the fact that um, uh, d is 1, I forgot to write that before uh, at the top. Then we'll have um, c equals to 8 for this case, and c equals to 7 for this case. Also, when x equals to 1, y equals to 3, then I will have b equals to c equals 2. But again, we know that this will lead to no solution. And finally, when x and y are both 2, and I will have b equals 2, c equals 3, and similar for e and f. So that means, altogether, I will have this only pair with, um, with um, triple 2s, or 1, 1, 8, 1, 2, 1, 1, 7, 1, 3, 3, and finally 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Of course, and their permutations either about A, B, and C itself, about D, F itself, or swapping the uh, entire group A, B, C with the entire group of D, E, F. And so these are our final answers. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to suggest any alternatives in the comments. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now. Thank you for your support. See you next time.